In a world of so much negativity, where things are constantly pulling you down, the Word of God can build you up. Get inspired with Isabella P. Hello, I'm Isabella, and welcome to yet another week of Get Inspired. This week, we are still going to talk about being a person of honor. On last video, we talked about honoring God with your life. We use the scripture, Colossians 3 and 17. Everything you say and everything you do should be done for Jesus your Lord. But this week, we will continue in that same vein. We know that God wants us to honor him with our life. We must understand that our life is not our own. We were created to do the things of God. God placed everything in us before we were even born. He did this just for his purpose. God wants us to represent him on the earth. So many of us say we are Christians, but those around us fail to see the Christ in us. If you are a Christian, like the word says, Christian, like Christian, people should be able to see and hear Christ in you. On our job, at the gym, your children's school, in traffic, at the grocery store, even in church, in the Walmart parking lot, when you see the last parking spot, are you representing God with your life? The homeless man you just passed down the street, are you God's representative? Some walk around being mean and evil to people, even within the church walls. Some walk around hurting people, especially with our words. Some walk around saying whatever we want, hurting others. There are consequences for our actions. When Jesus was in this earth, he did not represent his father in that way. Every sinner he encountered, he treated with love. When they encountered Jesus, their life was changed for the better. And this is supposed to be the same thing for us. When we come in, when we come in contact with other people, when people encounter us, when they leave and they walk away from us, their life is supposed to change for the better. Not be like, oh my God, she made me so depressed talking to her. Oh my God, I feel like doing something to myself. It's miserable talking to her. People should not feel that way when they encounter us. When they encounter us, their life should be better. Can those you encounter last month or yesterday or even today or even five minutes ago say the same thing about you? Jesus knew he was on earth to represent his father. So he conducted himself in that way. Jesus said, I only do what I see my father do. And I only say what I hear my father say. He says that in John 5, 19 through 20. And it goes, Therefore, Jesus answered and was saying to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the son can do nothing of himself unless it is something he sees the father doing. For whatever the father does, this thing the son also does in like manner. For the father loves the son and shows him all things that he himself is doing. And the father will show him greater works than these, so that you will marvel. Why did the Father re reveal himself to Jesus? Because he loved Jesus. There is no difference when it comes to us. The Father loves you with the same love he loves Jesus. The Father is reveals himself to you so you can do what Jesus did. Remember, as Jesus is, so are we in this world. God loves you and he wants you to honor him with your life. Everything we do should line up with God. Everything we do, we should do to honor him. Our life is all about him. Jesus said in John 5 and 30, by myself, I can do nothing. Jesus is saying that now. If Jesus can say that, what about us? 
He says in John 5.30, by myself, I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear and my judgment is just for I seek not. Here it comes. I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. Jesus credited the father for everything he did. He heard God speak to him. He listened and then he did. Jesus was not concerning about pleasing himself or the disciples. He sought to please God. We need to take heed to the last half of this verse. For I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. So many of us do things trying to please ourselves and each other, and it is not about us. We have to stop living a life trying to please men and try to please God. Live a life to please God. When you live a life to please God, men will fall in line. When you openly represent God in all that you do, you bring glory to him and he will bless you richly. I am a witness. My life is now all about God and it is an amazing life. In closing, remember that you are who you are by the grace of God. God's grace has come to you so that it can flow through you for God's glory. God will bless you so you can be a blessing to others. Living this way brings him glory. Get inspired to please God in all that you do. Get inspired to bring glory to God. Get inspired to be a person of honor. And remember, you are a person of honor. Speak that over your life. You have to believe that by faith because you are who you are by the grace of God, but you have to activate your faith and believe that's the person that you are. Now, we are about to go on vacation for a few weeks. As I'm led by God, I will still try to bring forth the word of God. But until next time, have a blessed week. Mm -hmm.